Hey, Vato Loco. What's that you from, S.A.? <laughs> just, it just, it just looks like S.A. to me. I don't know. I've got a, I've got a twisted mind. What's up, everybody? Texas Triple Tapper back again with another knife review. Let's uh, take a look at this, this bad boy. This is a Randall's Adventure S.A. No, uh, probably easy training and equipment. Um, looks like they've been making knives since 1997. So, and it looks like they're in uh, Gallant, Alabama. Made in the USA. Me gusta. Huh. See what I did there? Let's take a look at this. So, it came with, I think I um, took it out of the box already and was getting ready to attach it, but it does come with like a little paddle, kind of a clip that you can uh, affix here to the different parts of the sheath. You've got a little bit of uh, paracord down here. You can, you know, um, use this. I mean, I don't know if this is enough to actually go around someone's leg. I, I don't they wouldn't go around mine um, but I mean you could use it for whatever um, like a previous knife I was showing a buck knife it, it has I like this little kind of forward assist I, I don't know I just think that's cool you can you know it doesn't require you to you know kind of yank it out and just free it with the one hand you know hard kydex style sheath I, I really like this knife. I think it is a beautiful knife. I mean, just beautiful. Um, and it has all the accoutrements of it, you know, being, a, um, you know, tactical, survival, bushcraft, fieldcraft, whatever the hell you want to call it, uh, type knife. Um, pretty, pretty good size knife. I mean, you know, let's see how far. Yeah, I mean, this thing is... She's a big one. Um, got the uh, pummel here with the lanyard hole. Um, don't know what's going on there. Looks like it just, I don't know, a little imperfection there, but don't think it'll mess with anything. And I know it wasn't me because I haven't taken it out to do anything with it. But it's got a, a really comfortable handle. Um, it's got the spot for your thumb and this one actually has a spot where you can really choke up on it and do some some finer work I would still be really careful because there's you know before you go from dull to sharp is a really really fine line I mean I might do this if I had some you know workman's gloves on or something but I mean you know you can you can choke up on it I mean I don't know that I would use it this way to do any kind of you know uh, digging or anything like that because I feel like when the knife meets resistance if your hands are slippery or if you're not paying attention I mean your hand could easily slide forward and that would be no bueno um, but other than that, I mean, I, I really do like this knife. I think it's, I think it's nice. Um, I always try to look at some of the knives. I look at the spacing between the, the handle scales and the, and the steel. And, you know, I don't like to be able to get my thumb in gaps around here. And so I think it's nice that, you know, you can't do that on this knife and it wasn't a really expensive knife and I, I don't even think this is you know it's not a tops it's 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 not a buck knife it's not a spider co it's not one of those huge name brands um some of you guys may be a little more familiar with this brand than i am um i like the knife it was a good price point and so i figured you know what the hell uh i'll check it out so that's pretty much how it came to end up in my house so 
and so far not not regretting anything I like it's got this kind of spray finish coating on here I think it makes a nice contrast with this nice uh, silver uh, stainless steel color um, contrast I think I just think that's nice um, whether or not you know how, how durable this is gonna be I don't know that is a concern I have um, because on other knives that I have that that kind of have that kind of coating um, will bring out the the tops knife again here this has a coating here this coating is so fine and so slick like I just you know it doesn't feel that much different than than this part of the steel but on here I mean I could really feel it you know and like it I can just tell that something has been coated on there and like kind of here at the tip it it looks like it's a little bit uneven you know you can just kind of see that right there let's go on the other side eh, maybe a little bit right there but I mean all in all you know for the price point like I said I want to say this was I don't know less than 75 bucks um, you know can't can't complain too much I mean if the coating wears off um, I don't think that that would inhibit the performance in any way um, except maybe that it might you know create more surface to rust or you know have some issues with but like I said I mean you know I mean if the nice if the knife was a four hundred dollar knife and I got this I'd, I'd, I'd be pretty pissed off and this this as well but I mean hey no no big deal um let's take a look and see how sharp it is this is another one of my business cards let's just take a gander here seems to be doing the job with no prob so she comes nice and sharp right out of the box the the Vato Loco SA <laughs> no Randall's Adventures easy I think is what it is the easy six and this says the Rowan easy six so I mean I mean it's not super super heavy but it's definitely not I wouldn't say it's lightweight either it's somewhere in the middle I mean it's a pretty pretty good pretty good size knife um, I'm curious let's let's take a look and see something let's see if we can figure out no it won't be there I wonder if we can get a Ooh. seems like it's got a pretty pretty good balance to it Oop, as it falls off I mean it's pretty pretty well balanced I, I don't I don't feel like the when I hold the blade like this I don't feel like it's forward heavy and it's it's not back heavy I mean when I hold it out here it just it's it feels feels really good in the hand um, I'm gonna take this out and do a little more extensive testing we'll kind of see how she performs um, and I will definitely keep you all updated Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, simplistic review. Um, if you have any questions, comments, you know where to leave them. Until next time, Texas Triple Tapper, out.